What's up guys, Zach from Good Time Gaming. Come at you guys with another new Payday 2 video. It is day five of Hawkson's Housewarming Party, and we have been given a new safe to open. Now, unfortunately, it's not something that's openable with like offshore or something like that. Um, that's not an option that's currently there, but it is a cool new safe, and the skins are actually pretty sweet on it. So we're gonna take a quick look at the new skins. Also talk about the new, um, seemingly random event that can happen at the safe house. Let's start with the skins first. So we have Hoxton's safe here. Hoxton is a special kind of guy and since it's his party, his safe is special too. We skipped the commons and uncommons and gone full out with two legendaries, three epics, and four rares. Nine skins total. So, I don't really see what the big, like, hoo-ha is about having only three different rarities, right? I mean, the only real difference is the fact that, like, when you open up the um, safe and you have like the different color come out. I mean, yeah, it's a rarer color, but you're limiting the number of um, items that are available anyway. So it's not like they're any more special, if that makes sense. But whatever, I don't really give a shit. What I do give a shit about is the fact that these skins are all actually pretty sweet looking. Um, we have here McCall, which is for the Akimbo Compact 5. We have the Krinkov SMG. This one's the um, Razor Splitter. That looks pretty sweet too. We have another Judge skin. That's like the fourth or fifth Judge skin so far. Uh, this one's called G-Tox, and I like that one. We have Magic, which is a baby devil. I love the colors here with like the teal and the little star on it and the black. It looks very nice. In the epic variety, we have Blockbuster, which is a China Puff grenade launcher skin, which I also really like this one a lot too. It looks really sweet. Uh, we have Star Spawn, which is a Platypus 70. This looks like some crazy shit out of like, I don't know, CSGO or something. It kind of looks like Cthulhu a little bit with like the little tentacles and shit like that. I don't know, it looks pretty cool. I probably wouldn't use it, but it looks really cool. And then we have Party Crasher, which is a KSP 58 LMG. Um, this one's kind of shitty looking, I feel like. Very basic, um, weird colors on it, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. And we have two legendaries. We have the Demon, which is a locomotive shotgun, and we have the Plush Phoenix, which is an M308 skin. So very nice indeed, check that out right there. Check that out. So get well soon, Teddy Moo. I don't know what that means. There's a teddy bear though. It looks like he has his head blown off. If you look at the uh, clip there. Hmm. Interesting. Cool skins. I think they're all really great looking, except for maybe um, Party Crasher. That looks kind of crappy, I think. But the rest of them are actually pretty cool looking. And at least there's a couple there that we haven't really gotten skins for yet. Like I don't think we've gotten any skins for the Akimbo Compact Five yet. So I think it's a new one. But the rest of these, I think, already have some sort of a skin available for them. Maybe not the KSP-58, but I think most of them do. So that is it for the skins, as far as those go. Um, they are in the regular rotation of safes, just like everything else. Right now, they're selling kind of expensively. So that's why I've not gotten up a video yet doing an unboxing of all these. So if you guys have safes out there and you want to donate them to me, then please, by all means, go right ahead, because that would be super appreciated. We've also gotten a new, um, not really heist, but a new event, rather. Um, at times, your safe house can actually be attacked by the cops, and you'll have to go and defend it. Doing that will get you some extra um, continental coins, as well as a um, little bit of money, some experience, and then, of course, you get a card drop at the very end of it. It's like, basically, you have to defend three waves of cops, and the whole goal is that you have like a small cache of um, money that you have to keep an eye on so the cops don't make off with. So if they steal your money or they kill you, then you lose. Um, it's not too difficult. We did it on one down and I feel like the location of the money definitely makes it either much more difficult or much easier. Um, we did it, I think, twice. We had two fails. The second time wasn't really our fault. We had to really shitty random for a second attempt. He was just retarded. I mean, there's no other way of putting it. No nice way. He was just dumb as crap. Um, the third time we had a full friend group and that heist will be up on the channel tomorrow probably. Uh, but it went really, really well. We got a really good spawn location. We were kind of like secluded and it was easy to defend against bulldozers and shields and whatever else. So it went really well. But it's definitely a cool little event. Um, I have not actually gotten the little prompt. Um, if you guys remember whenever Locke first came into the game, you got like the um, hack message that came up on CrimeNet. Apparently it's something like that, like Bane calls you really frantically and it's like, hey, you gotta get back to the safe house, bad shit's going down. So you gotta go back to the safe house and um, get in there and try and like save the day, basically. I've heard that having Clover's um, 
area fully maxed out can help with the defense. I don't know that for sure, but that's just kind of what I've heard and been kind of seeing little things on the forum, people talking about it. But um, yeah, it's really cool. It's a lot of fun. Um, I highly recommend you guys get in there and do it. It appears that if you don't do it right away right now, then the opportunity goes away. So if you see that thing pop, you need to just go ahead and do it ASAP. You can restart the heist if you need to, but um, don't terminate it. I think if you terminate, you probably lose it. I don't know, there's still a lot of information we don't really understand or know a lot about it, but just know that you can restart the heist if you need to and you're not going to like forfeit anything at all. So that's pretty cool. Um, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow is our new enemy. It is a medic. Um, the data files have been mined and it's also a little um, picture of a med symbol on there, so it is a medic of some sort. So we'll see how that kind of plays into things. Should be pretty interesting, I imagine. But that'll do it for day five, guys. Uh, like I said, check out the safe house, the safe house um, defense video. That one should be coming up tomorrow, maybe today, depending on when this one uh, goes live. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the safe house defense. You think it's hard? You think it's pretty cool? I think it's fun. I think it's interesting. I think so far they've done a really good job with the game and with this um, Hawks and Toss Warning Party. But I'll see you guys tomorrow with our new enemy. This is Axiom of Good Time Gaming. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share if you like anything you saw today. And remember to always have a good time gaming.